Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how you set up your copter and your radio to fly multiple drones at the same time. Or at least you can decide which copter you want to fly just via this switch. Doesn't this sound awesome? Initially I thought this is only needed if you're participating in a team race where four or more pilots are flying in one team against different teams and the team that flew most of the laps wins the race. But after publishing a teaser video, I received a lot of feedback from you guys and I learned that there are multiple reasons why you want to set up your copter like this. In this video, I use HG0 as my video system and Express LRS as my radio protocol, but it also works with different systems. So, here's how I did it. Goal is to have multiple copters plugged in and ready to take off and decide to go, for example, with Copter 3 per switch and fly only Copter 3, all others are not taking off. Also, all copters are sending on the same video channel. Problem is, when more than one copter is plugged in, radio should only control one and video should only be sent by one copter. These are the challenges and this is what we tackle now. It is important that we control which copter is copter active. Copter active is always the one who is sending and all other copters are always in failsafe. Two things we need to focus on. First thing, the VTX. Only Copter Active is sending video signal. We need to be able to turn VTX on and off via switch. Do not shoot your teammates out of the sky. Most important setting is that when Copter is in failsafe, the VTX should not send. Second thing we need to change is the failsafe settings. Even when five copters are plugged in, we only control one at a time. This is what we fix with failsafe. All copters are in failsafe except Copter Active. We send copter to failsafe or get them back from failsafe via switch. We have two options to set up the failsafe. First one is the safest method. Here the different receivers of the copters are only connected when the switch is in the correct position. Express LRS causes the failsafe to happen. This is easy settings only on the radio and only one RX is connected to the radio at all times. Second option to go to failsafe is with modes tab in Betaflight. Set up failsafe and tell each copter that only in a specific switch position the copter is not in failsafe. This is what we will look at in this video. However, let's start with setting up the radio. We only need to set up 6 position switch. If flying 3 or less drones you can use normal 3 position switch. Then you can skip this chapter. To set up your radio correctly we need to define a switch on which we want to switch the copters we are flying with. So we have two options, either we are taking a three position switch, for example SC here on top. So now I'm flying copter 1, now I'm flying copter 2 and now I'm flying copter 3. If you are flying more than three copters, it's wise to take a six position switch, which is available on the Boxer and on the TX16S. Some of you already noticed that there are some weird switches and buttons here and this is exactly what they are for. They look like six different switches, but at the end it's only one switch with six different positions. I wanna choose, I wanna take this switch to switch between my copters that I'm flying during the team race. To get this switch going, we need to see if this switch is already an output. So, in the main menu, I'm just scrolling through the pages to channel monitor and now I'm pushing the button and I see no movement. I scroll to another page and no movement, no movement and on the last page no movement as well. So there's no output assigned to this switch. Let's set it up. We go back to our main menu, we push model button and now we're scrolling through the pages, set up flight modes, inputs and mixes. Here we are. We are scrolling down and looking for a free channel. Every channel refers to one button or switch on the, on the radio and number 11 is free. So I push it and now I'm in the settings for channel 11. I set the source to now it's blinking, I just push a button and now I'm on S3. This is how this button, this switch is named within the radio. 
enter and that's it. Now it is available as output and when I go back to the main menu and to our channel monitor, I scroll to channel F, 11 and now we see 100, 60, 20, minus 20, minus 60 and minus 100. So there are different steps between these different buttons and this is exactly how we need it. Now the radio is all set up. We need the six position switch when setting failsafe in Express LIS Lua script later in the video. But to get the video signal under control, we open now Betaflight and we find a switch we can use to turn VTX on and off and to turn off the video we need two rows of code in the CLI and the last step we are going to do now is to tell the copter when in failsafe set VTX off. These are all the settings we need to do in Betaflight, but this needs to be done for all copters. To turn the VTX power on and off, and with off I really mean 0 mV, pit mode is not off, the VTX in pit mode is still sending signals and we don't want to have that, so it's really crucial to set it to 0 mV. And to set it up we need to define a switch on our radio we want to use to turn VTX on and off. So I decided I want to go with switch SD on my boxer radio and I take a look in the receiver tab in Betaflight and I see AUX4 is moving. In this position the value is 1000 and in this position it's 2000 and I want it to be turned on in this high position. Let me check the modes tab one more time if AUX4 is already in use. No it is not, I can use it. We did set up the switch on the radio. Now we need to let Betaflight know what should happen in position 1 and position 2. Since in the mode tabs we are unable to turn on and off the VTX completely, only in the pit mode, we need to do a workaround. But do not worry, we only need two rows of codes we need to copy and paste into the CLI. You will find the code in the video description. So basically we have two rows of codes. Each code, each row consists of seven digits and the first digit is just the index, the index of the row, row zero, row one. The second digit is the AUX channel it is referring to. So as you saw I use AUX4 in my example to turn on, turn on and off the VTX and in CLI language AUX4 is AUX3 because it starts with zero and there it's always minus one. So something happens if AUX4 is switching the position. So the third digit refers to the band, to the VTX band. I do not want to change it, that's why it's zero. Zero always means no changes. The fourth digit refers to the channel, also no need to change the channel. The fifth digit refers to the power level the VTX should be set to. And as you can see above, the power labels 25, 200 and zero. So power level three is zero milliwatt, so it is turn off. And the sixth and the seventh digit in the code refers to the position of AUX4. In position 1 it is set to the value is 1000 and this is in between 900 and 1300. This means in position 1 the VTX is set to a power level of 0. Second row of code refers to second position of the switch, so value 2000 and means power level 1 is 25 milliwatt. Now copy these two rows of codes into your CLI, hit enter, write save and hit again. The only thing we did so far is we did let Betaflight know that one switch is specifically only there for turning the VTX on and off. And the second step is that we need to tell Betaflight what is to do if we have a failsafe. When we switch the copter we want all the other copters to be in failsafe mode except the one flying. I do scroll down to AUX4 and I set this settings because AUX4 it says nothing because it's not valid in the modes tab but it is in CLI. We want to set the AUX4 channel to a value of 1000 and 1000 you remember this means VTX is turned off. So set 1000, save and reboot and that's it. Now we are done with all the beta flight settings for this specific copter. For sure we need to redo it for all the other copters. 
Now the VTX should only be sending when not in failsafe and switch is set to on. Let's focus now on setting up the failsafe. Failsafe means that the copter lost the connection to the radio. We have two options to set it up. First one is causing failsafe with Express LRS Lua script and second one is with Mode 7 Beta Flight. Set up your failsafe with the Express LRS Lua script is the safest method because only one RX is connected to the radio. In the other method, with failsafe in Mode Step, all copters are connected to the radio. To start with Express LRS. It is important that Express LRS firmware 3.4 is flashed on your receiver. The radio can be a lower version, but the receiver needs 3.4. It is not available with lower firmware versions. Only with 3.4 it is available the team race function. We tell each individual Express LRS receiver of the copters that it only connects to the radio if the 6 position switch is in the right position for the copter. This is actually straightforward, but requires firmware version 3.4 on the receiver. How to flash Express LRS receiver is not shown yet, but a lot of videos on YouTube about that already. Right now comes the most important part. Now we need to tell each copter what to do on what specific switch position of this six position switch. So I'm setting up copter 3 and I only want copter 3 to be ready to fly in this position and in all other positions it should go, go directly into failsafe. So right now as you can see I got telemetry, copter is plugged in on position 5, I can arm position 1, I can arm position 2 like all the positions is not set up. We only set it up in the Lua script here in ELRS. So let's dive into it. I open the Lua script and I scroll down to the bottom. This 3.43 refers to the firmware version of the TX, but I go into other devices. Here I have my flight controller and my ELRS receiver, beta FPV. I click on it and here I have the new function team race. This is not available with 3.3 and lower. I click on it and I have two options, the channel and the position. So AUX is set to 7, so I go to AUX 7 and I want Copter 3 to be only ready to arm if switches in position 3. And that's it. So let's test. I'm in position 3, I can arm the copter, I go in position 2, I lost telemetry and receiver is not connected, fail safe, no video and I cannot arm on all positions. I go back to 3 and I can directly fly. If you are not using ExpressLRS, if you are a lazy guy who doesn't want to flash the firmware on the receiver or it just didn't work, there is another method to send all copters except one into failsafe mode. This method replaces the previous chapter with the ExpressLRS Lua script. Therefore we need to open Betaflight one more time. In the modes tab we have the function to let failsafe happen on a switch. This is what we need. We will now set up the 6 position switch in mode step to ranges where failsafe should happen. To set the 6 position switch for failsafe positions for each individual copter, we need to see first in the receiver tab if the 6 position switch is already as output and coming into beta flight in the flight controller. So I'm now in position 1, position 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and back to 1. AUX 7 is the right one. Then we are stepping forward, going into the modes tab. And here we have height unused modes. This is really important. And then we scroll here to F, failsafe. Failsafe, this is what we want to do. I add a range. I, I can stay on auto. I just click the button. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. You see here is also the output there. And I want to define the failsafe range. And this is copter 3. So I want it to be in failsafe in position 1, in position 2, but not in position 3. 
so I'm gonna address this bar like this and since 3 is in the middle and I need to define ranges left and right I need to add another range which is set to aux 7 and of course it goes from position 1500 to 2100 so basically this is position 1 this is position 2 fail safe fail safe in position 3 there is no fail safe position 4 position 5 and position 6 to set telemetry off we go in our express LIS Lua script and now we are in the ELS menu and here the second point is telemetry ratio and to set it up there to turn it off we just click here and scroll to off if it's off you are unable to change your video channel wire radio and all other settings are unavailable this is only if you're using failsafe mode in beta flight to switch the copter we are done we did set up everything now we can fly the copter we want to fly if all the copters are plugged in for sure all the beta flight settings we changed all the lure script settings we changed needs to be done for every single copter so there is no global change for one copter and it does work please do it for all the other copters if you are flying analog i am not 100 percent sure if the cli commands do work you just need to be able to switch the vtx on and off via a switch I hope you learned something today and I guess I see you in my next video. Stay tuned.